Hello and welcome to my.homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll learn how to multiply with regrouping. Okay, so the question is, find the product of 135 and 3. Now, we know that product means multiplication. So, we have to multiply 135 by 3. Okay, so if this is the unit that represents 135 on our model diagram, then what we need to find out is what is three times as much, which is the total of all of those three units, okay? So that's 135 times three. Now let's learn how to actually carry out the multiplication. So we start with our place value chart as usual in the middle of the screen, and on the right of the screen, we have a place to do our working. All right, so let's start. First step is to multiply the ones by three. Okay, so the ones, how many ones are there? Well, there are five ones, so let's put five ones there and we multiply the five ones by three so we get three times as many ones, right? So three sets of five ones and that's equal to 15 ones. Okay, but now 15 ones, we can't have 15 in the ones. So what we do is we regroup. So we take 10 of those ones and we regroup that into a 10. So 15 ones would be equal to 110 and 5 ones. Now in the working, let's uh, look here. 5 times 3 gives us 15. So we are left with 5 here in the ones column and we move 1 in the tens column. Okay, we carry over the 1 in the tens column. So 15 ones gives us 1 tens and 5 ones. All right, so that's the first step. The next step is to multiply the tens by three. Now there are three tens. Okay, in the number that we have, 135, there are three tens. So one set of three tens there in the place value chart. What we do now is we multiply this one set of three tens by three, this number three here. Okay, so that would give us three sets of three tens. And that's equal to 9 tenths, right? 3 tenths times 3 is equal to 9 tenths. Now, what do we have in the tenths column in the place value chart? Well, we have 1 ten that we got from regrouping in the previous step. And we have 9 tenths from multiplying the 3 tenths by 3. So, altogether, we have 1 plus 9. And that's equal to 10 tenths. Okay. Now, again, we know that 10 tenths make a hundred so what we do is we regroup the tens we take all the ten tens and we regroup that into a hundred and we put that in the hundreds column all right so let's uh, go back to the right side of the screen and do the working we have nine tens that we got from multiplication and one ten from the previous step after regrouping so we have ten tens all together ten tens is equal to one hundred which means zero here in the tens column and one here in the hundreds column okay so so far so good next what do we do well we multiply the hundreds by three now in our number 135 there is only 100 so we put the 100 in the hundreds column and we multiply that by three this number three here okay so one times three is three so 100 times 3 is 300s. Well, we have 300s from the multiplication of 1 by 3. And we have this one over here, or over here in the place value chart that we got from regrouping in the previous step. So altogether we have 400s. Right? So 300s plus 100 gives us 400. So we write that down. That's equal to 4. Okay, so the product of 135 and 3 is 405. Well, let's look at the steps one more time. Let's summarize them. 135 times 3. The first step is to multiply the 1s by 3. So 5 1s times 3 is 15. We keep the 5 in the 1s place and we move this 1 to the 10s place. Like that. Okay. Next step is to multiply the tens by three. There are three tens. We multiply that by three and that gives us nine tens. To those nine tens, we add this one that we got from the previous step and that's equal to ten tens. So we put the ten tens here. 
Now again, we can have only one digit, right? In the tens column. So we keep the zero in the tens column and we move this one to the hundreds column. We carry it over to the hundreds place. Okay, the third step is to multiply the hundreds by three. Well, we have 100, we multiply that by three and we get three hundreds. To that, we add this one and we get four. Three plus one is four. So we write that down here, four. Okay, so the product of 135 and 3 is 405. All right, that brings us to the end of this lesson. For more such questions, practice exercises, and worksheets, go to my.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.